Volcanoes are among the most powerful forces on Earth. They can create new land, destroy entire cities, and reshape the planet in a matter of hours. Yet most of the time, they remain silent, hidden beneath oceans, forests, and even cities waiting. Deep beneath Earth's surface, heat builds up, where tectonic plates collide, pull apart, or slide past each other. This heat melts rock into magma, a glowing mixture of molten stone and gas. Because magma is lighter than solid rock, it slowly rises, collecting in underground chambers. Pressure builds over years, decades, sometimes centuries. And when the pressure becomes too great, the Earth breaks open. When a volcano erupts, it releases energy on a scale that is difficult to comprehend. Lava can reach temperatures of over 100 degrees Celsius, flowing like liquid fire. But lava is often not the most dangerous part. Explosive eruptions send ash, gas, and rock high into the atmosphere, creating massive clouds that can block sunlight and travel thousands of kilometers. In some eruptions, superheated clouds called pyroclastic flows race down slopes faster than a car on a highway, destroying everything in their path. Some volcanoes erupt gently, producing slow-moving lava that builds beautiful landscapes over time. Others explode with terrifying force. The difference depends on the chemistry of the magma. Thick, sticky magma traps gas, turning pressure into a ticking time bomb. Thin magma allows gas to escape more easily, resulting in calmer eruptions. This is why volcanoes can behave so differently and why predicting their behavior is so difficult. Volcanoes are not just found on land. In fact, most of them are hidden beneath the ocean. Along the mid-ocean ridges where tectonic plates pull apart, magma constantly rises and cools, creating new seafloor. These underwater eruptions shape our planet more than any event on land, yet we rarely see them. Entire mountain ranges are formed in complete darkness, far below the waves. Some of the most dangerous volcanoes on Earth don't look dangerous at all. They may appear as quiet mountains covered in trees or snow, but beneath them, magma continues to move. Supervolcanoes, like the one beneath Yellowstone, don't erupt often, but when they do, they can change the global climate. Ash clouds from massive eruptions can cool the planet for years, affecting agriculture, weather, and entire civilizations. History shows that volcanoes have shaped human fate. Ancient cities were buried in ash, preserving moments in time. Crops failed after distant eruptions darkened the sky. Entire regions were forced to migrate. And yet, people continue to live near volcanoes. The soil around them is incredibly fertile, created by mineral-rich ash. Volcanoes destroy, but they also give life. Modern science has improved our ability to monitor these sleeping giants. Seismic sensors detect tiny earthquakes caused by moving magma. Satellites measure ground deformation, showing when land begins to swell. Gas emissions reveal changes deep underground. While we cannot stop eruptions, we can now often predict them well enough to save lives. But volcanoes are more than a threat. They may also hold clues 
to the origins of life itself. Early Earth was shaped by constant volcanic activity. Gases released from eruptions helped form the atmosphere. Heat and minerals from volcanic vents may have provided the perfect conditions for life to begin. Even today, volcanic moons like Io and icy worlds with hidden volcanoes hint that similar processes could exist beyond Earth. In the end, volcanoes remind us that our planet is alive. Beneath our feet, enormous forces are constantly at work, slowly shaping the world we live on. Every eruption is a message from deep within the Earth, a reminder that nature operates on timescales and power far beyond human control. And while volcanoes may sleep for centuries, they never truly rest. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.